What is this thing? It's 11 centimeters long and made from pewter. The head is kind of flat. And there are some kind of Native American symbols I think. The inscription says Pewter Canada. I am from Europe so I don't know much about Canada. I can't say more about the origin, and I tried to find it on Google but no luck. Any ideas? It is a horn pewter spoon, sometimes referred to as a boma spoon and it's missing its matching fork. The fork and spoon set is traditionally given as a gift for weddings, ceremonies, etc. They're sold in numerous gift shops on the west coast of Canada. As for its uses, it could be anything like soup, honey, jam, salad, rice, etc. The spoon is more of a ladle shape than a serving spoon. That's because the shape is based on the old carved spoons that were made from mountain sheep horns. Likely, it was made by a Coast Salish artist as this particular totem on the back depicts the Haida story. The raven steals the sun. It's the origin story of how light came to the earth. What is this metal lever with a screw in the middle to hold it? It angles along a toothed track with a range of aprox 60 degrees. Please do not use the jumbo size novelty beer bottle for scale. This thing is 6 to 7 inches tall. Any idea what it is? It's a Wilcox Cretendon side mount boat throttle control. You can see it from my 1957 Wilcox Cretendon catalog. It is designed for sight and upright mounting, and offers straight line action which assures smooth operation and prevents curves or arcs in Bowden wire. Spring-loaded ratchet holds throttle at any desired point. What is this round wire loop attached to three needles inside of a metal case? I found this in my parents' antique trinkets bin and we can't figure out its purpose. Maybe related to sewing, but not sure how. No identifiable numbers or markings, and located in Western Canada. Any ideas? It's a case that contains three crochet hooks, possibly from the late 19th century. I think that the confusion is that it was maybe thought that it was not separate pieces. There's a hole at the bottom of the case to poke one of the needles out of when you're using it. The hook is maybe to attach to a needlework belt or maybe just to serve as a place to hold it to pick it up. What is this metal rack in the basement of an 1880s large Columbus, Ohio home? It looks like some kind of rack or holder for something, made of some kind of heavy wrought iron-like material, and permanently attached to the floor. Height is about 12 to 18 inches. It's obviously dirty and corroded, but the material appears original to the house or nearly so. Possibly something to do with gas lines for lighting. Any ideas? I believe this is a very early stand for a hot water tank from the 1890s. I have seen these with added glass tops, converted into ender side tables. What are these continuous lines of what looks like a planned vegetation of some sort, in rows of four lines against the outskirts of Volgograd, Russia? My first thought was that it's the remains of the defensive lines from World War II but those would be enormous. Then the second one was the bird gas lines, but why four in a row? Any ideas? These are parallel lines of a major shelter belt, also known as a windbreak, crossing the steppes of southern Russia near the Volga River. It's a 14-kilometer section of an extensive system of windbreaks planted to protect crops, and reduce the erosion of steppe soils by wind. The windbreak construction began when open steppe landscapes were first settled by Russian farmers in the early 1700s. At present, more than 2 million hectares or 5 million acres of the steppes have been planted. These protect individual fields from winds and associated gully erosion. The trees also protect water bodies from evaporation by the steady winds, and they prevent ponds and streams from filling with blown sand and silt. What is this metal box found in a 1920s bungalow kitchen? It is screwed into the kitchen wall of the house we are renting, and located under a cupboard between the stove and the fridge. The age of the house seems like there would have been a wood-burning stove in the kitchen. What is it? It was a decorative holder for wooden matches. Back in the day you didn't have pilot lights and starters. You had to light the match and turn on the gas. We had one in my grandparents' cabin. What is this small brick structure on the site of rocks in Alapocas, Delaware? While hiking through the Alapocas Park, I noticed this small structure and I'm very curious about what it is and what it is for. Any ideas? 
I contacted the park, and they said that the structure is located in the area of the old Brandywine Granite Company quarry, operated from 1888 to 1902. But the company ceased business in 1902, after an injured worker sued the company. While we don't have any supporting evidence, the story is that it is a blast shack for the quarry workers. Workers would go there to be safe and out of harm's way of exploding rock. The blue rock was quarried by drilling holes and sticking dynamite down the hole. The shack supposedly protected the workers from the blast and debris. What is this large wooden board with seemingly random numbers found in a coffee shop in Ireland? The squares don't seem to move, and about 1 meter by 1 meter. It looked very well handmade, with numbers routed in rather than painted. Googling wooden boards with numbers doesn't help much. It looked heavy. There didn't seem to be a stand for it around, possibly it's meant to be used flat. Is it some sort of a game or just a design? Please help. I don't know why it is wooden. But it is a magic square, specifically this is a copy of the Sagrada Familia magic square, which is carved into the facade of the church in Barcelona. Each straight direction of four squares on the board will equal 33, the believed age of Jesus at the Passion. What is this brown wooden sphere with several names written on it? It's around 6 centimeters in diameter with a slot at the bottom and a small hole all the way through. Some of the names are S.E.M. Cohen, H.U. Gould, R.W. Robbins, Coach, Leany Races, Downing on the left side and Trin Hall on the right. Besides the name, a lion with crowns above it, and the text 1897 Trinity is written on it. I found it in Denmark in an antique shop. What is it and where is it from? I think it says Lent races rather than Leany races, and it looks to be from a rowing event. Trinity College is part of Cambridge University. I believe it's something from the 1897 Lent races. I found an obituary for a Dr. H. U. Gould who attended Cambridge. He was a rower. The lion represents the royal patronage of Cambridge University. Downing is a college of Cambridge University and is known for medicine and law. And also, according to this site that happened during the 1888 Lent races, the third day was the occasion of a sad tragedy. The nose of the boat struck number four in the Clare boat just over his heart, killing him on the spot. The further races were at once stopped. Since this dreadful incident, small India rubber knobs have been fixed on the bows of all the racing boats. And another website refers to bow balls being introduced to the Lent races in 1887 due to a fatality they're described as an India rubber ball. So after all, it really looks like it's a bow ball from a Lent race in 1897. What is this type of scissor I found in a home I bought? It has a round curved cutting edge, similar to garden loppers. I have searched small loppers and round cutting edge scissors extensively and reviewed the frequently searched items. I also searched for all types of scissors and have not seen anything similar. It was inside the leather case, and they are marked stainless Taiwan. Any ideas? It's a cigar cutter, but as an avid cigar smoker and for what it's worth, this is my least favorite tool for cutting cigars. What is this wall fixture with two bells, two faceplates with two dials and buttons, six arrows that appear to rotate, a red light, and a door. Located in the hallway of a home built in 1905 in Illinois, I cannot read the text on the object due to image quality. Any idea what it is? Please let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.